Four for Wiz Trust aims to be the glue that holds the audience, the band, the venues, the labels, everyone together and keep them working together and networking to be the catalyst to bigger, brighter, better things for everybody. What the trust does is it's especially good at it doesn't it doesn't feel like there's a layer of kind of bureaucracy or anything in the way or it's not as if it's like that we are a charity therefore we are very serious about it. Now these are people who really love music, love going to gigs, love bands, and they want to help out however they can. I love music and I love playing it and it keeps me sane and I I think a lot of other people feel that way too and I think that's that's why the trust exists. It's it's there to help the people who love. Music. We formed uh, 10 years ago um, just from the basis that the scene that we had was starting to die around us, venues were closing down. We started with the idea to bolster people up and give them something to hope for and work towards and work together. We wanted to try and do something where we could help give an environment and give a vehicle for people to get from nowhere to somewhere. I was in a band with Lawrence and a chap called Wiz, Wiz Brown. That wasn't his real name, his real name was Darren, but I found out that his nickname was actually because he was just a fast runner at school and they called him Wiz from like Billy the Wiz. And we toured around France and um, America that year. And unfortunately, at the end of the year, Wiz suffered a, a blood clot on the brain and he died subsequently. Um, obviously we were sort of all shell-shocked, um, but we wanted to take that energy and put it into something positive. I went to the initial gigs that um, the Trust put on uh, shortly after Wiz's death um, and, you know, supported them that way, but it was only in the last five years since I started Rose Colour that I started getting involved in the, in the scene myself and um, raising some money, helping raise money for them and helping out at some of the events. I'd say the scene really got back together a couple of years ago, partly because of Andy Falterer from Rose Coloured started doing the gigs and reviews, which developed into a label. Because I was really shocked about the talent and the, just the number of bands out there and how good they were. And you know, you go to a couple of gigs that only 10 or 20 people turn up to and you think, well, they deserve so much more than this. So Rose Coloured were kind of born to support that and to try and encourage the people to get out and watch their local scene. I think the key part that we've been able to help with is trying to be that bridge between being in your bedroom or being in school or having music lessons through an external source uh, and then getting to actually a successful show and that's not necessarily successful financially but for me the success of a show is the band turning up, the band being ready, the band being professional and then them being able to have fun whilst doing it and people being there to watch it. We first started, because we've grown up through school together, like, so we started in junior school. Uh, we kind of just, we, we knew we had a common interest in music, and uh, we then we got serious when we went to secondary school. We got in a proper band, and we, we like went from there, didn't we? Yeah. You pick up a guitar when you're like 11, and then uh, you get some lessons, and you start banging out some grunge tunes, and then you just end up playing, like, and you just get a bit more drive and a bit more desire to go out and play more. Everyone I spoke to within the Ford for Wizard Trust community, and also just the music community around the area, it's 100% welcoming. I feel like they're friends, and obviously we've had help from them, and it's that's what I love about it most. I was doing an album with, uh, with my former manager, who then um, we weren't able to complete it through like the, the, a number of complicated reasons. And what happened was Karina found out and um, she took me uh, and said, look, I'm doing this thing called the Forward for Fizz Trust and you um, fit the bill that we really want to help you. So come, um, let's finish the album that you're making with this chap and then go do it with somebody else. They helped us get our band like mm. together and formed properly to start writing music really. All of these different aspects of, of, of the actual being a musician are difficult to grasp and to kind of master by yourself. To have that whole uh, team working behind you as well is, is a great thing for the music scene and artists in general, really. What I think um, Fort Wiz have, have really given us is a sense of community and friendship. Um, because, you know, we are relatively established musicians, you know, we've got all of our gear, we know how to play things and we know how to be on stage. And so really, it's just about having a group of friends that 
that you really enjoy hanging out with and you enjoy playing gigs with and it's, it's, it's a family in the area. You have kids that come in and they, they basically know they can maybe play guitar or maybe they can sing or play drums or something or anything. We help them to progress their musical journey and generally just live the music life that they want to lead but don't know how to actually do. It's the community built around the, the music scene that, that is our primary focus because if you've got that you can build anything from it. I genuinely think the key to this scene and this area to continue producing great music is we need to get young people involved because they are the people who get who get unreasonably hyped about music. I would say we've been gifted as a band to have all the opportunities Ford for Wish Trust have provided us, whether it's songwriting, whether it's live performance, um, that a lot of other people in other areas would not would not have this this like this tool to use as Ford for Wish Trust. It's not only a community, but they're your friends in the end. They don't come just to come and help you just so they can get something out of it. They come to help you because they care. The people like myself, that means a, a massive amount. So it's fantastic because then you have an underlying confidence in what you're doing because you know that you always have that platform and then that support. It's good that there's something that you can point to and especially you can point younger bands to and say these are the people that will help you out or they have resources, go and talk to them. We know a lot of people who know a lot of stuff that can give a lot of advice, good advice, to the people who need it the most. I feel that some more live shows would be great to further bolster the community that has been built so far and try and keep that momentum going because people are invested and we are seeing more faces at shows. But I'd like to see that sort of just continue to grow really. That's what I want to happen next. I don't think we can express our thanks enough for what they've done for us over the years and obviously being young, growing up through school, it's, it's helped us so much. Again, with this community aspect, we felt welcomed, it's endorsed our creative potential, and again, we can we can't thank them enough, really. What we started 10 years ago, people have come together to come to gigs, to support bands, to support records, and just generally support music in the local area. And I think we're doing that, and I think over the last 10 years, we've done, done that successfully. And may it continue for as long as possible. If you can pick up a guitar, or hit a drum, or sing a note, if you can, especially you can sing a note, then you should go out and, yeah, you should do whatever you can. It would be great to see one of the bands, one of the young bands we supported, you know, being successful, and if we can be there along for the ride as well, you know, even better, because we can then play that back into the trust and keep going and keep supporting people. There's, there's a constant stream of young talent coming through that, you know, we might be getting older, but they keep coming, so.